Hi, this is Shavana, and now we are going to see how to integrate Spring into our um, Protect. And that is a beautiful blog written, and you can use this blog as a reference. And I'll tell how to do as um, as we go. So first, let us see the diagram. Basically, what happens is you have a controller, and from the controller, we comes to a view resolver, and from where we will see the view. That is how a Spring works, and we are going to do the same thing in our uh, Portlet. So uh, uh, to begin with. Go to your portlet.xml. Let me close everything now first. Go to your demo one and portlet.xml. It, if you see here, we can find it is an MVC portlet, uh, which we are not, which we don't need. Now, what we need is we are going to, we are going to use a dispatcher portlet, which will dispatch and will give us the view whichever we want. So, what you do is just copy this line. I mean, we are going to make it as dispatcher portlet, not MVC portlet. And uh, let me paste it over here. So now you can find I have a dispatcher portlet, and that is my portlet class. And before that, we need one. If you can find library portlet.xml, but similarly, I need one more portlet.xml which will be demo once alone. So what you do is right click here. I mean, like right, right click in this web folder. Right click, new. Let us create a file. The file name should be what is the project name? That is demo hyphen one hyphen. You are gonna give portlet.xml. So portlet dot xml. This should be the name. It means that I'm gonna create a portlet.xml which is for demo one alone. And now here, what you're gonna do is we have to put all the Spring configuration files over here. Just copy the code which is given here. I'll explain what does it mean and paste it here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a schema and which has the spring beans and what all the spring beans which you need and what is the spring annotations you're gonna use. Make sure you create this one and now you have a demo portlet.xml. Now you have to tell the portlet that you're gonna use a spring and those springs are present in demo one portlet.xml. So what you do is so you can find like any params where you are giving view template whatever you want similarly we are going to define a new init param where you are going to tell that I am going to use this one I mean uh, uh, this portlet.xml so what you can do is just copy this one which tells me that this is the context configuration it's present in a, it is present under web inf and the name is demo one portlet.xml. What is properties? Let us copy this name and let me replace this one. So it is demo one portlet.xml. Now you have got an init param where you are going to pass a parameter called context config location and it has demo one portlet.xml. Now you have to, in, if you see, uh, as I've said previously, we need some Maven dependencies for having anything. So you can find all portlet servlet stuffs over here. Now I want to introduce my Spring dependencies over here. So what you do is go to your form.xml. See inside this you have many dependencies. I have some set of dependencies which I have already configured other, in other folder. I'll give you the code but let me copy these uh, things these are the spring dependencies and some java dependency is also there let me copy the spring dependencies and paste it in our demo form See, basically this demo form.xml Now I have introduced dependency for JSTL tag which I will be using in, uh, in my JSP and then I have introduced Spring Framework uh, and you can find some Spring version. I am going to use the parent version so just give it a Spring version. We have some integration, mail version, I mean Spring context, JDBZ, all the Spring related things. So what all you know, need you can add or if you don't need you can remove it. Currently let us have everything support, uh, as an example. So I have introduced all the spring related files over here. Now what you are going to do is if you find the next step over here 
they would have done by adding a dependency uh, but I have done by using maven file after doing this maven file what you are gonna do is you are gonna you, you go, what you if you see your web.xml you're gonna say we have a servlet so just copy this one and tell them I'm gonna use a servlet which has a view so normally we do it in a web.xml open your web.xml inside web app paste this one which is gonna tell that I have a view servlet and these rendering steps you know uh, it is under web in of servlet and view so now I have pasted this in web.xml now your web.xml is also ready now you have to configure your view telling that I have a JSP which will be in what folder and what is the folder name and you have to do so let me go to your demo portly.xml where you are going to configure your view it's a JSP view resolver and I am telling that I am going to put everything in web INF JSP so make sure you have a folder called web INF inside that you have a folder called JSP let us move all JSP pages to this one so let me create a file I am sorry folder first called JSP New folder JSP and inside this JSP let me create a file for example like a um, view page for JSP. So this is my view page, and uh, let me try something like hi, welcome to Spring Man Life Day, something like that. So I have this one. So now I have to render this page through a controller so basically you have to write a controller first so what we'll do is let us create a package here new package form dot mbc dot controllers and uh, let me create a new java class uh, for example it will be demo controller So now I have a demo controller in which I will be mapping I will be mapping the render one view mapping should be done. So let us go back to the blog. See we have written a controller and let us map to a like add controller and we will give a request mapping as view over here. And um, so this is going to be the most my first controller. Let us give it as mapping with demo controller and all the spring files has been added. Now in this demo controller we have to write a method which will give me which will return me the page which I have written. So what I will do is write a method like for rendering the request I am going to render the request and it's going to tell me a page and that page name is view page which I have created okay. so this is the view page which I am going to return from when, when, this, when this controller is getting called here let me try putting this out to check whether it is coming here hello render method you can also pass some argument from here to the page we have model anyways so we can use model for example model dot set add attribute let me add an attribute called like greeting in this greeting I'm gonna pass this is demo one message okay now I'm gonna pass this greeting message let let us print this in u.jsp by using dollar scientists you can put the value which you're passing in model greeting so let me now 
we should have we should get this one and also the greeting message which I have passed from demo controller. So what we have done is nothing. First we have created a portlet .xml where we have specified that this is going to be the portlet configuration which I am given and it's going to be a dispatcher portlet and this dispatcher portlet uh, and I have created a demo one portlet where I have just given view resolvers and some spring configurations and in form.xml I have added the dependencies of spring and then if you go to your um, web.xml you can find I have just given some servlet mapping which is essential for web for using a controller and view page I have created a new page inside JSP folder. Since I have said here that all the views goes inside WebINF JSP, you can change the folder also if you need it. But I have given it as WebINF JSP. And now I am I have created a JSP page and a controller. This controller has a render mapping. I mean, whenever this controller is getting called, this will this will render this method. And in this method, I have just added an attribute called greeting, and I'm going to return the view page and this attribute I am trying to print over here and after after doing that make sure you add the bean of your controller in your folder.dexon because you have added a new controller you have to add the bean over here so what we will do is let us add a bean and the class name should be controllers and it should be demo controller okay now if you click here it should go So now your uh, code is ready. Now let us deploy this portlet and see whether we are getting this view page. I mean, we should get view page, but not view. Uh, we should get view page dot JSP, not this view dot JSP, since we have defined this in controllers. Now what we'll do is, as usual, go for Maven clean install. And when you are doing Maven clean install, you can find. The dependencies which you have added getting downloaded over here because you know uh, basically all the jars should be added over here whatever you have given. So see if you see the jars which you have uh, the dependencies which you have added over there has been added in MVN dependencies. And uh, this might take little time. Yeah, now you can see uh, build has been successful. Now let us deploy it by giving um, Maven live tree deploy. And this should deploy in this folder. A var file should be deployed and it should be automatically taken. Let me see whether it is coming. So it's successful. We can find demo one var. It has been taken also, so it means it has been deployed. So you can go to your Eclipse and check whether it has been successfully deployed in console. Yeah, so it says one portlet demo one is available for you. So it means your portlet has been built successfully and it has been deployed too. Now let us go to our library and refresh our page. Ha, huh. see. Now you can see, hi, welcome to Spring Maven Library, the message which we have given in view.jsp and this is demo one message. So this which you have sent from your controller, this is demo one message through model and I am getting that in view page and I am able to see that over here in greeting. So now this has been successfully deployed. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, in next video, what we can see is how you can go for uh, rendering, I mean, adding a render URL and action URL and how it works with, uh, how it works with Lifetree.